hope you are doing well. My name is Jacqueline Vino from Galasso Learning Solutions, and welcome to today's Genuine Learning blog. What we are going to discuss is actually something that's really exciting. We're going to together review the highlights from the AICPA's 2023 Enhancing Audit Quality Report. So this was actually an initiative from the AICPA that began back in 2014. And essentially what it is is a progress report for each year, and it's essentially covering all of the trends in the profession that the AICPA wants to focus on. So they're going to analyze some data, they're going to develop some resources to hopefully improve audit quality overall. So with that being said, let's go ahead and learn a little bit more about this report. So essentially, the EAQ takes a data-driven approach to audit quality. So as you can see here, there's four different steps that the AICPA takes. The first thing they do is they just gather auditor performance data. So what they do is they study the AICPA peer review program and various other sources, and they're just kind of collecting the data. Then after that, they do an analysis to basically identify areas where quality challenges tend to arise. And once they analyze that data, then they're going to pick up on some of those trends. So once again, they're going to do that analysis just to identify some areas of focus for the upcoming year. And once those areas of focus are identified, the AICPA goes ahead and they take action. So they try to help auditors either avoid or correct some of these quality challenges by enhancing guidance, by clarifying requirements in the standards, developing education and resources, and just emphasizing these focus areas during the peer review process as well. So that is the four steps they take to develop this report. So some of the areas of focus that the AICPA has identified are basically what you see on your screen here. So risk assessment, no surprise. This is something that's been on this report since 2018. And we have quality management, also something that is continuing from 2022, and single audit, so also something that was continued from 2022. But we do have some new areas that the AICPA has identified as areas of focus. So the first one is ESG elements. So this is something that is new on the 2023 report. This is obviously a very hot topic, so the AICPA CPA is trying to focus a little bit more on this and also on technology enabled auditing. So once again, this is also something that is new from 2023. So what we have here is a little bit of a mixed bag. We have some older areas that the AICPA has been working on for some time, and then we have some exciting new areas as well. So first up, we have risk assessment. So as you can see here, the AICPA has worked very tirelessly and diligently to produce a number of resources. Unfortunately, risk assessment is still a common deficiency, but according to this report, um, it really has been an area we, where we have been starting to see some of those improvements. And the reason why is because of all the AICPA's efforts to really provide the tools and resources. The AICPA has provided you know, two practice aids, a really wonderful webcast, self-study, courses and also an audit guide here. So just wanted to list those out for you if you are interested because they are just really great resources for risk assessment. In addition, quality management, something that was picked up on this report back in 2022. And as we all know, under the new quality management standards, um, they need to be designed and implemented by December 15th of 2025. And this is going to be a really heavy lift for accounting firms because we're going to be moving from a system of quality control to a system of quality management. So what the ASCPA is trying to do, even though this is not going to be you know, implemented until 2025, is they really want to get ahead of the curve here. So the ASCPA has developed a practice aid, they have a webcast, they have articles in the Journal of Accountancy, um, they've had various conference presentations. I was actually at this year's Engage conference in Las Vegas, and there were several sessions that were being held on quality management, just trying to make sure everybody is comfortable with this, you know, they're aware of what those changes are going to be. And they also created an AICPA checklist, which is also a really fantastic tool and a resource for auditors. And single audit, right? So this is another trend coming and being carried forward from 2022. These are obviously you know, complex engagements. They continue to be a challenge for auditors. And of course, we have that continuous increase in demand as a result of pandemic funding. So um, additionally, we have some resources here as well. So there's actually a compliance supplement resource center that is that has been established. That is also something that is new. And they have a webcast as well, just to make sure that everybody is aware of what some of those those updates are coming from the compliance supplement. So everybody is prepared and ready for those changes. And 
Obviously, we have ESG, another very hot topic right now. So the ASCPA is continuing to provide resources in this area. So what I thought was really interesting here is they had something called the ESG Symposium that they actually co-hosted with other organizations. And that sounded like it was very, very successful. And they're also developing a cohort on this, which I also thought was very, very interesting. And basically, they're developing that in partnership with the University of Oxford. So I thought that was just a really cool thing that they're working on here but they've definitely had lots of virtual conferences on this. Um, They've been speaking about this at different conferences. Also, they have created summaries of the two uh, California climate disclosure laws as well, just trying to, once again, summarize those, making sure everybody is comfortable. And they have an AICPA guide on this as well. So just trying to develop all of those wonderful resources for us. And last but certainly not least, technology. So technology is a constantly evolving area, and the AICPA very much sees technology as one of the greatest areas of opportunity for us as auditors. One thing that really surprised me when I was attending Engage in Las Vegas is how much technology kept coming up at pretty much every single presentation I attended. And I I earned about 30 CPE credits while I was there, so I attended a lot of sessions. Uh, This was something that was very much harped on, lots of really wonderful examples, lots of wonderful tools that the AICPA is trying to work on because this is the future. This is a very interesting, very complex, evolving area. And I agree with the AICPA that this is not you know, wonderful opportunity for us. So what they have done is they've once again published various articles for the Journal of Accountancy on this. They've developed a practice aid. They have some webcasts and like I mentioned, lots of really wonderful conference presentations on this as well. And I would also highly recommend taking a look at this report because there is just a lot of really good information. We've only really hit the high notes on this blog. So I did include a link for that as well if you want to pursue this report a little bit further on your own. But once again, my name is Jacqueline Vino from Galassa Learning Solutions. I hope you enjoyed this Genuine Learning Blog and I hope to see you on a future Genuine Learning Blog. Thank you so much and have a great day.